Yo, what up YouTube? Soji Mike 420 here back again with another review video. Uh, on today's video, we're going to be reviewing another Runs X Liddy Dispo. Um, if you guys seen my my shorts, um, you guys would know that I've actually reviewed or not really made a review video, but it was more like a short video just showcasing uh, a Runs disposable. Um, but this is a different strain, so today we're going to be reviewing uh, Mango Madness, which is an indica. It's a uh, full one gram uh, dispo pod. Um, it says it's infused with THCH Live resin. It's a disposable rechargeable vape pen. Um, and then the side view of the box, you can see there's like some like reflections or whatever of the of the runs name. And we'll go ahead and take it out of the package to have a closer look at it. So here's what the dispo looks like. Um, so one thing to keep in mind is that the Runs X Lady dispos are all the same color for some reason. I don't know why. They're all the same color purple. And something that I wish that they, they would have done differently was um change the color of the dispos with the uh, name of the strain so if it said um if it said uh uh what's it called if it said sour apple it should be like a green disposable like a neon green or if it's um like the one i have mango madness it should be like an orange yellow hybrid color i don't know that's just something that i wish they would do but i mean i guess this is cool i guess but it will be kind of confusing though because imagine if you have if your friend has three of these and they're all different strains, but yeah, you can't even tell which one's which unless you can tell by the flavor and whatnot. But we'll go in and take a hit for you guys uh, just to show you guys the effects this has and how fast it acts. That was a straight hit, solid hit. Okay, now that, <coughs> as always, <coughs> some of these dispos come with a, <coughs> come with a, the cough aftermath. But, um, oh yeah, also guys, I apologize if, <coughs> if I'm constantly sweating, it's just, <coughs> it's just, it's really hot right now and my fans are off because <coughs> because I'm making this video for you guys and I don't want the sound of fans on on the video or to like kind of dub my speech as I'm talking but yeah guys uh wow um so like I said I never once did a review video on this um on a runs x lady dispo but this this will be the first one so like i mentioned earlier it's a it's a thch live resin dispo um it does say in the back though that the ingredients are hemp derived delta 8 hhc thch and life terpenes now i since in, since it said hemp derived delta 8 i'm pretty sure that's the that's the, the, you know, because there's Delta A, Delta 9, there Delta 10. So, like, each uh, strain has a, or each type has a more stronger feel to it. Or it depends, uh, too. But, yeah, guys, the effects on this uh, dispo are very good. Um, it's almost very instant, the effects. Um, so, like, say you take one big uh, good hit from one of these, um, it tends to hit like pretty fast. Like as soon as you let it out, the effects start to take change or take place. Um, my bad. They start to take place, and you start to feel that transition from from sober to high. But let's go and take another another hit. Okay. <coughs> okay. 
I had to take a really quite a while, quite a good pause because what came afterwards was the cough attack special. So now this is um this is the aftermath of taking two uh big good long rips off the dispo. Um like I mentioned, it's an indica. Um if you guys saw my previous video, I reviewed a keg 510 cart and it was a white widow. The strain was white widow and it was a sativa. And now I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I was kind of um well I still am, but I mean, not as much, but back then I was kind of debating like what was more suitable for me. Was it, was it Indica or was it Tiva? Like which one would be more beneficial for me? And I did a kind of a trial and error test where one day I would have a dispo or a card that was a Sativa and I would puff on it all day and see if that works out better for me while working or if indica is more of the um or if indica is the more of the effects i need while performing and i've come to find out that a mix of both so a hybrid would be much more suitable for me because on one hand i like to experience head highs some days not all the time but just some days and when it comes to like feeling actual chill and relaxed, indica's the way to go. But there's a saying, and now I'm not sure if this is a real saying or not, but uh, there's a saying that goes, sativa for the streets, indica for the sheets. Because sativa, you just want to feel more, more awake, like more, more brightly, like like you want to be more, more alive, you know, when it comes to being out there just thinking positive uh peaceful thoughts you know but uh sometimes i like to go for an indica which would it would be uh low would be on the low side and so then you know i started taking hybrids in and i figured that hybrids is probably the best option for me when it comes to hitting a cart or a dispo so i'm gonna take one last hit for you guys before ending this video Damn it, I can't do a ghost. I forgot I had my ceiling fan on. I just turned on the ceiling fan on on the lowest setting like five minutes ago. And I forgot that I turned it on and I was trying, my dumbass was trying to do a, a ghost inhale. <laughs> <coughs> but yeah, guys, um, so to, to wrap it all up, um, potency a straight 10 out of 10 um, flavor wise and eh, nine and a half out of 10 nine nine out of half nine 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 and a half out of 10 um, the flavor to me it I mean the strain says mango badness but the flavor is more like a flower like your traditional flower so for me that's like a nine out of ten um, and of course packaging definitely a 10 out of 10 uh they definitely know how to implement different colors and like different ways for them to grab the audience's attention to you know towards their products but yeah guys uh but overall to cap it all off it's definitely a 10 out of 10 uh on my book uh so if you guys see these in your local smoke shops uh remember they're called runs x liddy if you have if you have these in your sm local smoke shops, um, you know, try them out, you know, try them out and let me know what you think of them. I personally love them uh, more than the cake products, actually, because it's a shame because cake was like the first brand I ever knew about uh, from carts and dispos. But yeah, guys, if you manage to find one of these in your smoke shop, definitely give it a try and let me know what you think about it. But yeah, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. Uh, sorry if I made it kind of awkward or, you know, if I messed up in some parts of this video. I, I'm, I guess that's normal. You know, we all make mistakes. But uh, 
hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did leave a thumbs up uh subscribe to my channel if you're new and leave a comment down below uh if you if it letting me know you know what you're smoking on or what other types of dispo brands card brands you guys would like me to check out and try out i'll definitely uh consider that for my next few videos but thank you guys so much for watching and this is og mike 420 stay high and signing out